Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing some Vanilla Contest 2010 once again. <laughs> Lots of multiples of everything in this thing. I don't. I. I didn't think this would feel so uh, tiresome over time. Whatever. We got three thirty-two. So let's go ahead and start with uh, this one because it's it's this one. It's Rocket Sparkster. So thirty-two place. 36.83 points out of 50. It starts off all regular like. Okay, that's okay. Rocket Sparkster is a reference. It's still a video game, and as such, as a reference in and of itself, it is hilarious. No, let's just, let's just say things for a second. Keep filling up a space that we've seen way too many often by now. Okay, so the Magma Cave. We're gonna go on a Magma Cave. We're gonna find some. Ma Whoa, that is some very blue cave. Blue and yellow. It's like the ultimate. Well, one of the ultimate contrasts out there, right, bad guy? Yeah, you're you're that. It's pretty right. So we got fish. We got water. We got fish in the water. You no know, fish out of water, but you know, there is nothing down this hole. Just a pitfall. Okay. Well, let's go check it out. Yeah. Okay. So, <laughs> thanks for warning us about this pitfall there. Could have just used a like, you know a triangle with a yellow exclamation mark on it, but that would be vanilla. Vanillas are very rarely found in sign form, right, turtle guy there, kind of like. So instead of, you know, a crazy uh, grassland, we got a crazy cave. I forgot to put the tilts there. So, uh, it's a cave. There's a guy. I'm sliding. It's pretty great. There's a box there if you want it. There's a Charlie running there. I got just killed by a bullet. I need to go in that pipe. Oh man, look at that chap, it's pretty great, we got like, like butterflies in the walls there that actually holds, whoa, I guess this is, no, you know this is the more actual magma part of the magma cave because there's power, also there's lava, also you know the walls are, are having a warm color-ish rather than a cold one, although because they are actually a neutral color, which is brown, uh, put next to like or like orange and stuff the brown starts to get more of a cool effect This is you know, a little bit of color theory here, but I suppose that I could have rid the the skull raft all the way down there or that I could get back up here. It's pretty great. There's a guy. There's an X. Uh oh, there's an Y. It's XY Cave Show but featuring Santa Monica. We're not too sure how we managed to convince an entire city to, you know, take the leading role of, of this theatrical production. It's it's actually gonna be quite hard to find a theater large enough to, you know, be able to pull it off. But sometimes it, you gotta spare no expenses in order to truly follow your heart. Freaking heart always escaping like that. So this is the magma cave. Oh, we're out of the magma place. This is the part where you can fall, except you don't spray any great. There's a midpoint. There's a plant. It's pretty great. So I guess we're just back in the first part, so we could go in the midpoint, and so then we can fall down in a coin shoot. That was a very important room to have, and I'm quite happy that that room... Whoa. Whoa, now the magma is getting serious. That is one a heck of a serious magma. If you know you gotta have someone wash your laundry for you, this is the magma you want to talk about, you know, you, you want to talk to it on the phone, perhaps, I don't know. Is magma antisocial enough to only respond by phone? Or is that even too much and only respond by email? I don't know. So that's a mask, pretty great, and that's a bullet, pretty great too. And am I gonna die here? I hope not. I, I, I wasn't sure if, you know, the cannon there was a safety cannon or just a... Oh, I could get that mushroom, but it's not a mushroom and so forth. I'm not gonna eat it. Cause I know some people put like dandelions in their in their salad, but but not far flower. It's just too spicy. It would conflict with the texture of the rest. So there was an arrow at the beginning there, in case you couldn't see it. There's a mouth down there. It's pretty great. It's got one eye. It's a cycloptic mouth. Except the eye is not necessarily the mouth. It's just an eye and a mouth. No, they coexist. Doesn't mean, like, just because they're one next to the other doesn't mean that they are, like, part of the same face. Like, say, for example, that you stood cheek to cheek against someone and someone saw both of your eyes, like, next together like that, doesn't mean that you, like, you are both co-owning that said pair of eyes. I don't know if I was clear, and I don't know if it was really that important to be that clear. And also, what was that with that slowdown there for a second? You know, I, I noticed that slowdown just because I didn't mention it at the time. Doesn't mean that I didn't notice it. I was just too busy talking about nothing. So there's a turtle there, and there's a turtle there. You see, that was a turtle there. 
I, I'm pretty sure I thought that I pressed the down button, but it looks like once again my senses have betrayed me. Right, Mr. Bullet, how do you do? I got a bat in my shoe and it's pretty doo-doo. Oh man, it's it's pretty poo. I don't know, do, dude, like dude, do and doo-doo are not the same words. You do not want to use them in the same place, because otherwise, especially, you know, if you're within reach of a kindergarten, there might be some misunderstanding. Got an Monocon going on there, you know? Little uh, smiley face Action Johnson there. I don't know why he got a new job as an Emonicon. If you got a name like Action Johnson, I assume that you're gonna end up being a baker or something. But it looks like life is full of surprises. Such as I'm so surprised to see a goal point at the end of this level. You know, I thought it was gonna be like infinite or something, but no. It ended at the end of the cave. I like that. It was nice and simple. It was more simple than simple. They like. Again, it's the mid game. Thing, like the mid contest thing where it's nice it's, it's pretty good but it's not very adventurous and so there's not a whole lot to talk about it's like, like it's a quality level that is a quality level it does, I, I don't know you know what i mean uh, i went over those before so i'm just gonna go ahead and start a new one it's probably my cat gangster he, i know him on the youtube so i'm pretty sure i saw a movie or two of him just passes mostly and he does a thing here mostly because it's where it's mostly the same beginning again i'm kind of getting tired this is the beginning i'm not gonna lie so uh, uh, this is the beginning of a new adventure that's not exactly how i like all that i don't know underground castle so it's an underground castle on the whoa okay so we gotta get to the castle first because see these are land masses over the universe which i mean over the ocean whoa i didn't expect to see captain ninja upside down uh, outside the inside there ninjas are you know they like uh, they like the information age because it means they don't have to go out as often but there you go they're just hopping along uh, hopping along uh, w without valor in the air like that and here i get a little bonus dipping pot it's pretty great if you like to dip your pot well you can dip your pot in a dipping pot it's a pot for pots it's pretty great i do mean you know the the, the thing you find in the kitchen here not the thing you find somewhere else the please do not make me say things i did not say right flying land mass i'm your number one heads up now we're going in the super high energy magma cave again, you know, with super energy music thing, and there's a blarg. It's pretty great, it's going raw all the time, it's like, oh man, look at me, I'm a blarg. Oh man, look at me, I'm burning alive. Just, just, just notice that the grass here is the flashy kind of, gra gra of glass. It's glass grass, it's grass made of glass, and you know, the flickering pallets are caused by the moving sun up, up in the sky, you know as the sun revolves around our delicious planet Earth. Well, regardless, now we're back to return to the back to the return. I'm gonna fall in the lava again. No, I'm gonna jump over the lava. It's, oh man, there's a bone sticking out of the wall. There's someone got buried alive and then, you know, just kind of stayed there. But his bones, you know, continue to grow. It's pretty disgusting. So there's split bones there, but only sometimes. You know, this shaft was docked very precariously there in an angle. You don't want a diagonal dock because that's, that, that doesn't... Well, I don't know why you wouldn't. Actually, I don't really have any arguments against having... Oh no! <laughs> I need, oh no, wait, wait, are these spinies? I think not, I don't know, because usually when they're colored that way, it's the sign of things to come. Well, I don't know, maybe they are just recolored bony beetles, it's hard to say. What is your opinion on this Spike Man, the Spike Man guys man? Guy? I don't know, I guess I was supposed to stay downward and not go upward. I am a fool and a kite flyer. So here's a, th a shell and I'm bringing with me into the castle of underground. Uh, shaking about with your, your things like that is the proper reaction to have when encountering an underground castle. So we got spinning maces, we got a one-up just kind of going, Hey, yo, man, I am a one-up, yo, Bob, how's it going, Georgian? Oh, that well, I ain't hitting that thing, unless you are capable of helping me. You are, but oh, oh, or also I could take this path. It's it's a distinct possibility, but it's hard to say. So wait, you're giving me two one-ups, super easy to get at the beginning. There doesn't that mean that basically you get unlimited lives to accomplish this little castle place with little fuzzy guys, you know, because they're happy to be at home all fuzzy and jiggly and. Just feeling it inside, and I did not expect this sort of obstacles, but there you go, we got water and spike. 
even the chainsaw saying hello. It took many years to, you know, uh, train that chainsaw to say hello correctly. We thought that it would have been a lost cause up until when we discovered that it was actually quite proficient at sign language, you know, in contrast to its sheer inability to really speak all that well in English. It's one of those cases where it's not actually intelligence that is the problem. Well, like, not brain intelligence, but rather something more akin to physical intelligence. That is some shiny, shiny skeleton bones. They give, me, they give me the impression of being like deep fried skeleton bones or something, but I don't know why you would deep fry the bone unless you... Maybe you want to indoctrinate your dog to the true joys of hickenism. I don't know, that's possible. We got something that might be written. <laughs> well then. 